it's that time again. Time to uh, make a Stunt Race XX cartridge uh, turn into a Star Fox 2 cartridge. Um, this is actually the first time I've ever done one of these. Um, I have done the uh, uh, Mega Man X2 to uh, Mega Man X2 X3 multi-cart, um, which I will actually uh, be doing one of those later because I designed a uh, uh, redesigned a, a little board to make that easier um, but that'll be for another day so um, yeah so what we're doing today is we're taking this stunt race FX cartridge and we are converting it into a Star Fox 2 cartridge um, we'll be using the official Nintendo ROM off of the uh, Super Nintendo classic um, and uh, so that'll be fun and as far as uh, the parts that we're going to be using, of course, we're going to be using a, f a Stunt Race FX cartridge. And uh, we'll also be using the uh, Retro Stage um, 29F032 slash F016 adapter board um, for Super FX. So this will adapt a, uh, in today's case, we'll be using a, whoops, uh, 29F016 uh, chip. It's a two megabit, uh, sorry, a two two megabyte chip, which is um, twice what we actually need for Star Fox Two, but it's the smallest um, TSOP forty, well, TSOP forty eight, but it's the smallest chip in this form factor that I have in stock. So that's what we're going to be using. Um, you could, in theory, make a multi cart uh, using this type of setup, but um, Maybe like a Star Fox 1, Star Fox 2 multi-cart, but you'd need to um, do some stuff with the save RAM and stuff like that. It'd, it'd be uh, probably something that would be worth trying at some point, actually. But um, for now, we'll just be doing a Star Fox 2 cartridge. So, um, first of all, before we get started on actually building the cartridge, um, there's something loose inside of here, uh, and I think it's the... I think it's uh, probably the save battery, strangely enough. Um, I don't want to, uh, I haven't even plugged this cartridge in and tested it yet, so let's take a look, because I was concerned about that. Um, yeah, that's the save battery. Um, the welds apparently snapped on that. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and do a quick test on the Super Nintendo. <coughs> and make sure this is a working cartridge. Hmm, that doesn't look good. Let's see about this. Yeah, not, not looking too good. Well, we, we may not be doing this after all. Oh, there it goes. Okay seems fine yeah seems fine okay well then let's proceed um, obviously we will be replacing the battery <laughs> that's that's gotta happen uh, and I, I apologize by the way for the low quality of the uh, mainstream camera I am working on that uh, I'm gonna have a much better solution soon um, but for now, I'm just using a webcam, and uh, this is the best I can do. So, uh, let's go ahead and just remove these battery tabs while we're while we're here. <clears throat> Can't really think of anything else to to do first here. I will uh, hold off on installing the new battery until I'm done with everything else, but there we go. All right, so those are out of the way. No risk of those shortening anything out. Okay, so uh, much like what we did with our, um, uh, our Mario RPG uh, build, we have to remove this uh, mask ROM here. This is the mask ROM that contains the Stunt Race FX game. Um, and we're going to be replacing it with an adapter. This is a, a different configuration because this is a, a TSOP adapter, so it's adapting this small little TSOP chip. 
Um, we need to program this chip though. So let's go ahead and get the programmer started and then we'll move on to soldering while the programmer is going. <clears throat> Okay, so we have Star Fox 2 here, and we've got our uh, TL-866 programmer. So we're going to drop Star Fox 2 in. Maybe. Hello? Well, that's weird. Is it being so difficult? Let's, um... That is strange. Normally it's pretty much a drag and drop type affair. Don't know why it wouldn't drag and drop, but there you go. Okay, so this is um, all configured up here uh, with Star Fox, and we've got our TL-866 with a uh, this is a uh, uh, zero insertion force adapter for this uh, particular type of ROM, a flash ROM. So let's go ahead and get that plugged in. Bent leg, okay, let me get this plugged in. sure it IDs properly and it does okay so we can just program and while that's going we'll look back over here and we'll remove the uh, we'll remove the uh, mask on there let's go ahead and get the hot air rework station going Oh man, everything's tangled up here. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's all good. Let's go ahead and start removing this chip. And I have my heat set around 375. generally enough for this sort of thing. There it goes. Bye bye Stunt Race FX. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and clean these pads. are good. Alright, so at this point I think it's uh, probably going to be fine to just go ahead and solder in the, uh, the board first. It doesn't really matter. Um, these boards are actually set up to sit right uh, right where they're supposed to be and, and uh, cut right past this capacitor here, so they're perfect for this application. Uh, designed just for it. Uh, I don't think you can buy these anymore. I went onto Retro Stage, the Retro Stage website, and did not see them for sale. So I think they're no longer in production. But uh, which is kind of a shame. But uh, you know, 
is what it is. Now this is this is kind of weird. See, I've never actually um, built a star. I've never actually built a Super FX cartridge with one of these adapters. And the thing that's weird about this is that um, the adapter is a 36 pin adapter, but the the slot for the the um, actual chip here is only 32 pins. So. These uh, some of these pads are uh, like ground pads that will cover more than one pin. So I'm not sure what's supposed to be grounded. Um, okay, I think I think I've got it. I think we want to have it positioned as far forward as possible like this right here and if I'm wrong I can remove it and adjust it afterwards so go ahead and get that tag down add a little solder here the other side here and just drag it through let's add a little bit of flux here to clear some bridges to the other side. Okay, um, this ROM, I believe, is a one megabit ROM. Or sorry, one megabyte. On one megabit. Uh, it is. I, I actually don't believe that. I know that to be true. So we need to set the jumpers on the board for one meg. And let's see here. Oh, I have a new. I have a new camera here. I have a microscope camera. So you'll see. that the board has these jumpers here um, which set uh, basically set it up for whichever size ROM you're using so the one meg ROM I believe you're supposed to bridge these two jumpers these right here and these right here and they did not bridge there we go All right, so now that those are bridged, this should be set to one meg. And we'll get to soldering the, uh, the chip, because it's actually done here. Programming successful. So let's go ahead and get this chip positioned. So what I'm going to do here for the soldering, I'm going to try to get you guys a microscope view here. We'll see how, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced of it at this point.
I do have an actual microscope over there, but I don't have a camera for it. So let's get this in position and we'll switch over to the microscope and see how that goes. That's part of the new concept I'm doing here. This is a cheap little microscope I picked up. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Now, the exposure's a little bit blown out, but let's uh, let's try to see what we can do here. Now on these um, 29F016s, they're actually TSOP 48 packages. They have the same pinout on the internal, on like the central 40 pins as a, a TSOP 40. So you can put them in places where a TSOP 40 package would go, but um, they are wider than a TSOP 40. So uh, you have to kind of balance them. Kind of got to, you know, finagle them in between the spots where they would normally want to go. And that didn't quite position correctly. is tough to do under this little microscope. I'm almost inclined to abandon it, unfortunately. I want you guys to, to see what's going on here, but I'm not sure that's going to be practical. Okay. Alright, well, it's in place. It's bridged up, but that's fine. That's not an issue. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and tack the other side here. The thing I was trying to do is get this uh, centered a little bit better. Because as it is right now, yeah, let's just glob it on there. Okay. So this is horribly bridged, like crazy. That's fine. Let's go ahead and apply some flux. Make sure we get a clean soldering iron tip. some of this up. Add more flux.
I definitely go uh, come from the Lewis Rossman school of there's no such thing as too much flux. Okay. That part, that side's done. Let's go ahead and this side should go pretty easily. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna look at it under the microscope. Just to be sure. Positioning is off by a hair, but it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Looks good. Pins aren't moving. Okay. All right, well, that should be it. Let's go ahead and pop it in and see what happens. success it looks like let's play a little Star Fox 2 never played it before Wow all right I don't know how to play this game I know nothing about this game let's do this can we can we, can we get a level please can we, can we get a level? Can we go to a level, please? I don't know. I don't know how to play this. I don't know how to play this game. Let's go to a level, please. Please, a, a level. Oh, I love Falco. Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah? You ready? Wait, are we playing or what? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, cool. So now we should be playing a Star Fox level. Sick. This game's cool. I don't know what all the hate is about. Um uh, ah, there we go. Did I did I win? Oh, oh, is, is that actually the whole game? Like, you just do these little encounters? Oh. I don't know if I like that. Oh. Well, okay, I can see why maybe there's some criticism about this game. Um... Well, anyway, look, the point is, it's working, it's Star Fox 2, it was easy, and you got to see it on stream, uh, get made. So, I'll, uh, put a new save battery in there real quick, just so we got that taken care of, and then I think we'll be done with this one. But with the appropriate, uh, parts, you can see... It's extremely easy to build a Star Fox 2 cartridge. Um, it used to be like a, considered to be like a really challenging build. Um, and you know, I don't think you can actually get these retro stage adapters anymore, unfortunately. But um, I actually, uh, believe it or not, traced out the adapter in, uh, in dip trace. I took some photos of it. 
trace it out because I, I I want more of them uh, for some other stuff I got planned. Uh, especially, uh, they're especially useful for Mega Man cartridges because they uh, same same pinout as the CX4 cartridge uh, for Mega Man X2 and X3. So you can take um, like uh, what I did with this cartridge here. You can take a Rockman X2 cartridge and you can. Um, do a multi cart where you're running uh, Mega Man X one and two or X two and three in the uh, in the same cartridge because they both have the CX four chip and this adapter can be used for that, which uh, makes it really easy to do that mod. So I traced out the adapter and uh, put it on Oshpark. So I'll uh, I'll put a link to that in the description here so that you can search for it. Now I haven't tested it. Um, the adapter we used in this video was an, was a real retro stage adapter, um, but I copied it, um, you know, trace for trace off of this one, and then added a few extra pads to make it easier to do the um, Mega Man X uh, two and three mod because that's my primary concern with this. Um, but being able to do Super FX. Uh, mods is cool too. Um, so anyway, uh, if you're interested in getting one, I will uh, leave a link there. And um, I haven't tested it yet, but I've got them on order. Uh, so whenever I get them in, I will be doing a video, of course, of me using them. And they should work well. I'm also going to order a label. For this mega, for this uh, Star Fox 2 cartridge, uh, and I'll be definitely be changing out the shell because this is not a very, not a very good looking shell. But um, uh, yeah, that'll be uh, something I'll take care of later. Uh, but right now, I've got a working Star Fox 2 cartridge, and uh, that's pretty cool if you ask me. So uh, thank you for joining me on this little stream. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, we'll be doing more streams. I try to stream every time I get in here into the workshop and, and do this sort of stuff. So, um, got a lot of cool things coming in the future. Just uh, keep an eye out and you'll see them then. Thanks. Bye.